I'm Claire Coleman. I'm the president and CEO of the National Family Planning and Reproductive Health Association. We're delighted to have the senators and his staff support to be here today. We're going to talk about the challenges to contraception and the successes that we've experienced in the 48, almost 48 years, since the Supreme Court handed down its Griswold v. Connecticut decision. Griswold was the Supreme Court decision that said that married people should have access to contraceptives. It was based on a challenge to an 1897 Connecticut law that said it was unlawful to use contraception or to distribute it or to counsel on it. I'm here to say thank you for the great work that you do, tremendously important. We face a continuing challenge in this area. I've been working on it for, I won't tell you how many years, but I clerked for Justice Harry Blackman in the 1974-75 term, which was just after Roe v. Wade, and clerked before then for a district court judge, John Newman, who had one of the cases that eventually went to the Supreme Court and whose reasoning in that case was very much in play when the United States Supreme Court considered Roe. So I've been involved in many of these legal issues for some time, and of course Connecticut has a distinguished involvement in Griswold, uh, as well as subsequent cases involving a uh, woman's right to choose. And uh, I am very proud to be continuing to work on this issue here. It's one of the reasons, really, that I wanted to run for the United States Senate. Uh, reproductive rights, women's health care, I think, are one of the central issues of our time. These issues are not just about one part of our population. They are about the quality of our society, the effectiveness of our workforce, the educational system that we have, and contraception, women's health care has played a central role in expanding educational opportunity, workforce opportunity, and other very important areas. And yet, we see continuing attacks on these rights. They are fundamental rights. They are the right, as I, as, uh, I think it was Justice Brandeis who first said it, uh, but others have used it since, the right to be let alone, the right to be let alone from government interference in our lives. And at this point in our society, when we see so many threats to rights to privacy, uh, in so many areas, this one really is the at the core of the right to privacy.